Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Unfortunately, trick-or-treating can come with some hazards, so here to share ways to keep your kids safe this Halloween so you can worry less and enjoy the holiday, we welcome back registered nurse and sleep coach Alexandra Klenovich. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me again. Happy, happy Halloween. Oh, yes. thank you. And happy we're counting Halloween. down, and we got to stay safe. Yes. While we have fun. Yes, and we also want to have fun while staying safe, like yeah. you just said. So let's make it fun. So the one thing that I always think about is a lot of people like to wait until it's dark to go trick or treating. Yeah, treating, that's right? kind of the the kids are at the front door looking outside to right. see is it dark enough. Exactly. So some ways to keep them safe and also visible. Mm -hmm. Glow sticks are a great option for that. And they're fun for the kids and too. And they're fun. Yeah. And if they get super dirty trick or treating, throw them in the bathtub when you get home. Turn the lights off. Have a fun bath Disco time. Disco party. That Disco sounds good. Disco bath. <laughs> and then um, these are fun as well. They're slap bracelets. Oh, cool. But not only that, you may not be able to see, but they do flash light. And they oh, have cool. three settings. Nice. And that way they're seen. I bought them in my kids' Halloween colors. So I that, haven't seen these before. What a yeah. cool idea. So they can stay safe with that. And then the other thing that people don't really think about is masks, mm -hmm. right? So we want to keep the Halloween costumes fun and creative. But really what masks do can like obscure their view when yeah. they're walking. So if you can avoid a mask, that'd be great. Yeah. Opt for face paint, like you guys just did the temporary makeup, Temporary tattoos, great. we've got you covered. Yeah, yeah. temporary tattoos. Um, that way they can be safe and still see where they're going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, what about allergies and, and keeping kids safe from the treats they're not supposed to have? Yes, so um, Halloween specifically, is a high anxiety time for families that have allergy for kiddos. Sure. So um, it's called the Teal Project. My cute little teal bucket here. Um, and then fill your teal bucket with a bunch of different non-treats. So no chocolate, none of those things. So different yeah. trinkets. So here I have some sticky spiders Fun. that kids could have. Um, for the younger kiddos, some bubbles. Who doesn't love a good Always bubble Always a wand? hit, yeah. And then of course, some fun Oh my gosh, Stretchy. that sound. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have heard many of that sound. That yes. sound. <laughs> so giving some good alternatives and the wonderful thing is you want to try and keep that separate from your candy because cross contamination yeah. can happen. So if you can find yourself a wonderful teal bucket, this will symbolize to allergy families that you're an allergy safe home yeah. and have options for their kiddos. Great idea. And you can still have candy if you want to, but like you said, keeping them totally separate so everybody can stay yeah. safe. And then choke the choking side of things really what we see is a super high rise for hospital choking admissions at yeah. this time um, usually between kiddos two and four so making mm -hmm. sure you go through your kids candy to make sure it's safe for them avoid those round objects avoid any high allergen mm -hmm. items um, and then you know really understanding what to do if that does don't happen. Don't you remember as a kid spreading all the candy out yeah. on the living room floor and checking things? And, yeah. And that's when the parent tax gets paid too and they don't even have to know it. Exactly. <laughs> and that leads us to the Switch Witch. Yes. So the Switch Witch, if you don't know, mm -hmm. um, is a great option not only for allergen families but yeah. also for us. We have kiddos who are young on the younger side of things where they don't want to take you don't want them to have all of their candy Eight loot. Eight pounds of candy. Yes. Yeah. No one needs that. No. Um, so what you could do is have different pieces, have them a set amount, whatever you determine as your family, a set amount for them, let them put that aside, include yeah. it with their lunches, yeah. and then um, take the rest, put it outside their door at night, and then the Switch Witch comes, and the Switch Witch could bring fun things like coloring books, um, Play-Doh. Yeah. A lot of fun developmental um, engrossing activities sure. versus the candy. Things they'll still be excited about instead of, yeah, endless, endless, endless. amounts of candy. Yes. <laughs> and also control their energy as For well. For sure. Because it could go out crazy. And before we uh, wrap this up, we do have daylight savings coming up yes. in the next week or two. Yes. So daylight savings is coming up. Um, it is next weekend on Sunday. Okay. Um, so really keeping track of your child's sleep. If you want to account for that, make small adjustments mm -hmm. in their schedule now um, so that when daylight savings comes, it saves you. Yes. <laughs> the tiredness yeah. of everything and them as well. So making small 15-minute increments to their schedule will help um, account for the time change that's about to happen. Yeah, falling back is really tough, especially with little babies who don't yes. have a good routine. Yeah, I remember some long days. Yes, and lots of coffee drinking yes. as well. 
<laughs> so really starting to make those changes and adjustments now will account for that in the end. We'll have these tips and more information about Alex on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.